I'm Yasmin Young from the 2 to 6 Takeover weekdays, 2 to 6 p.m. on the People Station 93.7 WBLK. Welcome to WBLK.com. And today, Buffalo talks about the mayor of Ithaca, who basically wants to create America's first heroin house, or at least that's what I'm going to call it. This would be a place where drug addicts can shoot up with the supervision of nurses and wouldn't have to worry about being arrested for using what? An illegal drug. How do you feel about this? Good idea or bad idea? Hey, who's this? Hi, my name is um, Dino. I think it's horrible. Why would you want to help someone hurt themselves? Like, the point is to help someone get help to get off the drugs. You're going to continue to help them, you know, be on it. That makes no sense. So I think it's a horrible idea. Well, I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Hey, Kelly. Hi. Um, He wants to make money off of this drug because they've misplaced all these uh, lower tab addicts because they were given those. And now that they can't control that substance anymore, now they want to control the heroin. Because they make so many accommodations for these drug addicts as long as the Caucasian people are using them. But if our people are using them, please, let us die. That's just my opinion. Well, I definitely appreciate your opinion. Thank you for calling. You're welcome, and you have a good day. You too. WBLK, who is this? Hi, Desiree from Buffalo. Desiree, what do you think about it? Well, I'm completely 100% opposed to the idea, uh, mostly because the first thing that comes to mind is who's going to fund it. You know, it's got to, bills have, have got to be paid in any facility. They've got to be able to pay for equipment, you know, for the drug itself. You know, is that supposed to be something that falls back on the taxpayers? Well, I definitely appreciate your opinion. Thank you for calling. You're welcome, and you have a good day. You too. Bye-bye. Hey, who's this? Yeah, this is Mike. Mike, what do you think about this? Uh, I think it's totally insane. You know, like uh, I, I, I experienced it myself 22 years ago, and um, I've been I've been police on it for 22 years. And for someone to legally kill somebody, because that's exactly what it is, uh, it's totally insane. I totally disagree with it. Well, I appreciate you calling and weighing in. Thank you so much. All right, thank you. Bye bye. Joe, how do you feel about this? I worked as a drug counselor for 10 years in the field of addictions, and I disagree with first with what the woman said about Caucasians or African Americans as far as the addiction. Addiction has no name. It, it just doesn't discriminate against anybody as far as uh, addiction goes. So for her to say that was kind of inappropriate. I don't agree with what she said. The other thing is, this is a, a system that has been proven to work in other countries like Amsterdam and Denmark. The reasoning behind why they do this is because addicts, when they're in severe withdrawal, they go out and they get the drug and they get the needles and they do them in the streets where this is a, a monitored situation. It's been proven that it reduces crime, it reduces sexually transmitted diseases, HIV, uh, when monitored and uh, the addicts are able to do this. Well, I definitely appreciate you calling with that information. Thank you. Thank you, man. Have a beautiful day. You too. WBLK, what are your thoughts on this? I hear a lot of people are kind of bashing the idea. Um, little do people realize that it, you know, reduces the death rate. It reduces the diseases transmitted throughout users. Coming from a recovered addict, um, I think this is probably a positive thing that could happen uh, in our area, especially uh, with the epidemic going on. Well, I definitely thank you for sharing. Hello, who is this? Hello, um, this is Saru, and I was calling in respect to the uh, thing you were talking about on the radio dealing with these these uh, government-operated crack houses that they want to start in Ithaca, New York? Well, it's actually a heroin, so it's not crack, heroin just house. to a be... A heroin house, forgive me. I don't know why I said crack, heroin. Right. So what, well, what's your thoughts on this? Well, I've actually written, uh, did a lot of research on that, and I've, I actually wrote an essay for somebody in college in respect of heroin. And I think that the company responsible for heroin even being used publicly in the first place should flip the bill, and that would be Bayer Ashburn. Hmm, interesting. So, yeah, Channel 17, PBS, uh, years ago, back in like 91 or 92, aired a documentary about the uh, origins of heroin. It was actually synthesized in 1820 in England, but when England realized that though it was supposed to be a morphine-free form of opium, that it turned into morphine stronger than regular morphine when it passed the blood-brain barrier, they abandoned the use of it. So AF Pharmaceuticals resynthesized it in Germany. And they sold it in America under the name of Bayer or Bayer and around the world from 1900 to 1910 as a cough as a respiratory healer. But shockingly, that's how it kills you. It's, it tightens up the respiratory muscles and shuts down the lungs when you overdose. So they're a 
demanded the use of it after being sued by Spain because the Spanish flu. The Spanish flu was developed by heroin users and was first discovered in Spain. That's why they call it the Spanish flu. Um, heroin is not even the name of the drug. It's diamorphine or morphine diacetylated or diacetylated morphine. Heroin is a trade name created by Bayer because when Heinrich Kressler used the drug, it made him feel heroic. So he actually died a heroin addict himself after his company was kicked out of Germany and moved to America. So, and Bayer, which is the correct name to pronounce it, they also own every other pharmaceutical company in America, including Westwood Pharmaceutical and One a Day Vitamins, General Mills, General Electric, and Mitsubishi Motors. So if we want to really nip the problem in the bud, make the cause of the problem, pay for it. They don't want to put it in their history that they did this, but you can go online and find plenty of ads. And 80% of your heroin addicts, are women, and 76% of them are Hispanic because heroin was initially marketed more so in South America to Spanish people than anybody else. So this is why we have the problem because somebody thought it was just a keen way to make money. If it wasn't for them synthesizing aspirin, they wouldn't even exist today because they actually synthesized aspirin first, but they did not release it until the heroin backlashed them in the face. Then they released the aspirin. If it wasn't for that happening, Bayer wouldn't even exist. Well, I def- they- definitely appreciate the history lesson of of that. So thank you for that. You're very welcome. And then I actually have posted it on Facebook, and I've posted it other places. I've done lectures about it. But as a people, as black people in our community, um, as they say on the Griot Nation, you need to question why you get things. We need to even more so question where it's coming from. WBLK, who is this? Hey, it's the number one fan, Chill. Hey, Chill. So what do you think about this idea? I was in the last person. I think it's a good idea. I mean, because heroin addicts get sick. I mean, that's that's a deadly disease. I mean, if they stop taking it, they're going to get sick. I mean, everybody everybody going through withdrawals, puking, and, and, and shaking, and shivering. I mean... It's bad. I mean, it's a good idea. I mean, as long as they don't get arrested, I mean, hey, each one teach one, you know.